what's up y'all so i had to bring out the video early because it was sitting on my mind and i wanted to do it while it was still fresh before i forget so do you know what your spirit is doing when you're sleeping like when you're in the spirit realm what are you doing do you know when you're dreaming what are you doing when i tell you i woke up so disoriented like out of nowhere when i woke up i was disoriented i didn't know where i was i was like what's happening what's going on where am i but before that when i was dreaming i was having some vivid dreams last night so again i have to ask do you know what your spirit is doing because when you're traveling you are traveling are you working behind the scenes? Do you even know? Like, let's just face it. We're stuck in this 3D. Well, not stuck in it, not stuck in it. But while we're operating inside these vessels, we have to interact with 3D, don't we? Do we not? Are you not three-dimensional? So when you have to deal with other three-dimensional beings and uh, creatures and, and objects, you have no choice but to operate in the 3D. So our minds are going to go solely to linear thinking uh, because we have devices that we use that were created by linear thinking people. So we're going to be doing linear thinking stuff while using these devices because that's what they were that's what they were built for. I mean honestly, at this point what are we doing? What are we telling ourselves that we stuck uh, that we stuck on stupid? I guess. Like a society that created aqueducts, roads, the postal service. One would think that's not a feat or an accomplishment, but it is, it is. Now, your solid right. rockets, and gasoline power cars, mm, not so much. The designs are cool, I guess, but no. You're just puncturing holes in the uh, atmosphere. and You don't think that, but you are. And uh, as for gasoline, you're just putting crap into the air. You're putting, car you're putting carbon back into the air, which carbon's already in the air, so it really doesn't need any influx of it. And then you think that, oh... Let's cut down some trees. You know, we don't need any of that. Let's burn them. And then, now look at you. You barely have oxygen for yourselves. Like, honestly? You see them birds falling out of the sky due to the magnetics? You see the volcanoes? Like, I'm not trying to do my glue. Let me not even do that, because I know how y'all get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm just saying, like, at some point, you have to realize where you are. At some point, you have to take responsibility, do something different. You know, the one excuse I hate is that this is going to end. There's nothing I can do. So, like, if your thinking is that way, you go ahead and hang it up right now. Go ahead. Please. You don't have anything to offer. Because if you think of yourself in that small of a fashion, that you, that, that that one piece of gravel won't start a chain reaction that ends up damming that river, then you, you're lost if you don't think that way. Now... Let me not say it like that because, oh, you're trying to guide people. Like, this society is funny. When I mean, you think about it, y'all are funny. So many labels, trying to act like y'all are smart. You know, just, I know words. 
Me too. I may not utilize them often, but, you know, I know them. I speak languages. Do you? I know my worth. Can you say that? Honestly, you really have to know who you are. And when you're on this path, when you're on this journey, if you don't know who you are, then good luck to you. Now, there's two messages in this. Um, the first was about knowing where your spirit is going when you're dreaming. Because, like, what are you doing? When you look back, if you try to remember those dreams, at least try. Those dreams, when I tell you, have so many signs in them. You really got to try to remember those dreams because... Don't now, don't blow your head up trying to remember them, but you know, when you wake up, oh, I, ha I had some dreams, jot it down, because you will forget. This is what it is. You're not supposed to remember the spirit realm. That's not for the 3D. Mm. And the second message was, know yourself. Really know yourself. In the case, many people can say they know themselves, but still get lost in the sauce. What's the sauce? Getting lost in one's head, getting lost in three, getting lost in someone else's narration. Now, we're all a part of one big narration, but we also have our individual narrations. This is why we're co-creators in this, uh, so to speak. So, you just kind of got to go with it and just realize where you are. You know, like a lot of these old memoirs, they have a lot of answers in them. Now, I may have said that a little weird, but you know, you go with it. You know what I'm talking about. I've been feeling good lately, so I've just been on a, on a different level, so to speak. And, uh... Once you get there, you just like, man, I'm feeling good all the time. Now, we're energy based. We pick up on other people's energy, but there's secrets behind that. So we'll talk about that. Not on this, of course, but when we actually uh, meet. So with a smile on. Definitely positive vibes your way. For the light workers, keep doing your thing. For the chosen, stay on mission. And for those who know, let's get it. <laughs>